Baraka Thayahau, Baraka Thayahau Shah, Baraka Thayahau, Baraka Thayahau Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Mikakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Um, now, this Satan fallen angel situation is not accurate. And the Christians presented it to all of the Israelites. The Christians presented the thought of a fallen angel. See, when you go on the road to make the video short, because I done made two videos, and for some reason they get deleted every time. But anyhow, um, when you go into Genesis 6, that's talking about the Adamites, and it's talking about the Adamites disobeying and sleeping with the other nation that was on the earth. Because the Adamites, um, according to Genesis 5, was a nation, and they was given the laws, and it was a nation. See, just like Israelites came from one man, and the Israelites was a nation. The Adamites was a nation. And the other nations was the serpent, and they came in, and they caused the uh, nation of Adam to fall. That's what that was talking about. And when you go into Second Peter's, the second chapter, it's t it's giving you the, the whole example of that. And they was like angels, because they was messengers. For the Most High, when it came to the law, statutes, and commandments, they was the ones that was uh, leading that. When you go into Ezekiel 31, it tells you that these great nations was in the garden with the Adamites or in on the earth with the Adamites. And they was jealous and they envied the Adamites. See, this is what that situation was about. But you got certified Christian Edomites that's misconstrued the whole thing. That's why in Daniel 12 and 10, they say the wicked shall not understand. The Edomites is not going to understand. And the, the wicked is the Edomites, according to Malachi 1 and 4, and according to Job 9 and 24. See, they rule the world um, according to second. Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. And so these people is coming up with this big old lie talking about the angels rebelled against God. When you go into Psalms 103 and uh, 1920, it talks about the angels obey God. They don't disobey God. They keep his commandments. See? So it's, it's not no angels that done rebelled and they hiding behind the, the bushes trying to uh, do stuff that God don't know about. See, that's why I went into that account in Acts 19 uh, where that that um, evil spirit came out of the man, uh, came out of um, the people um, and beat the, the Jew that was trying to copy Paul and expel the demon that the spirits, the evil spirits that was in people. See, God um, gave him the power to do that. Or uh, uh, Yahweh, the Most High, gave him the power to get the evil spirits that he put on the people. This is what this is the problem. See, the Lord is putting evil spirits on people, just like He did with Saul, King Saul. See, he put the evil spirit on King Saul and had King Saul trying to attack David. See, he put that evil spirit on Saul. So he gave Apostle Paul the power to expel these evil spirits. You see, but see, these people pops up out of nowhere. They don't know the scriptures. And they gonna use the scriptures to try to hide themselves and create a whole narrative 
talking about some angels rebelled against God. And it's a, a kingdom of angels. See, you got the top angel named Satan. That's a lie. There's no top angel. There's no angel, first of all, that's named Satan. You ain't going to find it in the scriptures. It's not there. See, even if the Lord called the spirit Satan, that don't make that angel, that don't make, that's the name of the angel, and it don't make it that um this is what the angels is called. They're not called uh Satan. They got a name, just like Michael got a name. See, Yahweh got a name. And he named every, everything. He is not sitting around just letting these spirits do whatever they want to do. That's why when the spirit came out of the, um, the people, they said, we know Paul and we know Yahweh Shah, but we don't know you. See, we not just randomly into these people, an evil spirit on, on a human and we don't know what's going on. No, we on, we own this person and we know what going on. He's rebellious and the Lord sent us to punish his behind or to do make him do something that we want him to do. The same thing with the man that was in the Gospels where he said he cleaned his house and he, he obviously repented and cleaned his house. Then he backslid and now his house he going to bring seven more evil spirits with him. Worse than the one that he had before. Because now he backsliding and going back into the wickedness that he was doing. And the Lord going to put seven more spirits. What 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 was said in um, Leviticus 26? When you disobey me, I'm going to punish your behind seven times worse. See? The scriptures going along with each other. See, he going to put seven more spirits on your mind, meaning he going to punish you seven times worse. These evil spirits is a punishment of the Most High. They are not no fallen angels, rebellious angels. They not there trying to get you to do something you don't supposed to do. You fighting, I'm fighting with the spirits. You're not fighting with no spirits, man. You, you is disobeying the Most High. That's what you're doing. If you're dealing with these spirits, you disobeying the Most High. Let me see if they let me go through a scripture without deleting the, 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 the camera. See, oh, 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 oh. They still got me on here. Okay. See how it flashed. And then it seemed like it want to erase the operation. See, they got me paranoid because I recorded two videos already it says an evil man seeketh only rebellion therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him okay so the lord is going to send a, a demon or an evil spirit on your behind when you want to be a rebellious negro or hispanic okay let's see if they let me Get this video. 3928. It says there be spirits created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See, the Lord is making these spirits, punishing the wicked to destruction. See, he making these spirits for wicked individuals and they are they are called demons they are not sitting around harassing people and doing stuff that 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 um the lord don't know that they doing see you ain't got to call you ain't got to um it's just like uh, those people that paul was doing miracles on now the spirit was just the evil spirit was in the people Paul was expelling the spirit and he was doing that for the ministry so the people can believe and all of the Jews heard about it and they said well 
This man is expelling evil spirits out of people. The spirit even came out and beat up this man, kicked him out of the house naked and wounded. See, this is the stuff that's going that, that was going on. So this notion of fallen angels got people head twisted because they thinking that it's some demons flying around doing stuff that God don't want them to do. The demons got one purpose, is to punish the wicked. That's the only purpose they got. If you're not wicked, then you 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 the demons ain't messing with you, man. You ain't got to be looking over your shoulder worried about some demons unless you're doing wrong. See, unless you're being certified, disobedient. And the Lord is not um looking at uh the situation like back then too, because now Yahweh Shah, uh, he's uh, operating as our uh, mediator, and he's mediating the situation where we ain't doing sacrifices. See, we break the law. We got to go get a do a, a, a sacrifice. We got to go get a sheep and a goat. See, we ain't dealing with all of that type of stuff. We, we working through faith um, and through um, keeping his words and practicing the righteous acts and rehearsing the righteous act. This is what we doing. So he not on us. We in the time of grace. He not punishing us like he punishing us. But we got to be keeping the commandment. Let's get that um, Matthew. Matthew 5. It said, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. Let me jump down to verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Now, see, this is the whole thing. You got least commandments and you got sin unto death. Sin unto death will get you a freaking messenger and a demon will get on your behind quick. But you got the least commandments, see. You got some of the least commandments. The Lord ain't, he, he not going to just send a spirit on you like that. You messing up with some of the least commandments, see. And this is what people don't understand. All sin ain't the same. You you can be battling with the least commandments, but you ain't. Most people ain't sitting around, uh, especially if they're alive, because he would have done something, an evil spirit on their behind. Uh, but if you keeping those least commandments and teaching men to do so, you he not sitting around trying to send a, a, a demon on your behind. But you got a wicked Negro that can't even get to do the least commandment. They can't stop eating shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, pork, a nasty, filthy, stinking pig. They can't stop wearing pants and tight clothes and G-strings on these people's beaches and wear a freaking dress. See, they can't even do the least commandment. So, yeah, he's he, he going to tally up the um, operation and punish some of them behind. Because they can't even do the least commandment. But if you're doing the least commandments and not doing no sin unto death, see, the Lord um, ain't sending these demons out there like that. But people that see, people is wicked as heck because they following Esau. See, that's what that Ephesians 6 is talking about. you following the laws of this kingdom because it's really not just the government, it's all of the, the whole kingdom of Esau. See, he running the whole world and influencing the whole world. That's why I say they drunk off his wine. He influencing everybody. They under the influence of Esau. The whole world is under the influence of Esau, and he is telling them and influencing them what to do to be wicked like him. That's Malachi 1 and 4. Edom is the border of wickedness. 
in uh second Andrew six and nine, Esau is the end of the world, meaning Esau is the world. See, that's that um James four and four with uh, friendship with the world, friendship with Esau, make you an enemy of God, because God hate Esau. Uh love not the world with that first John two fifteen, love not the world or the things that are in the world. See, because Esau is running the world through wickedness. And he got his spirit on people. That's Ephesians, the second chapter. He the prince of the power in the air. See, he the one who had everybody believing into some fallen angels, that the demons making people do stuff. See, when that's a lie, the Lord is he controlled the deceived and the deceiver is from the Lord. And it's not got nothing to do with no freaking rebellious angels. But I'm going to leave it there. I just want to touch on that. This for the third time. Um, but it looked like the video going to be able to go through. Um, yeah, the fallen angels is Christian dogma. It's a Christian lie by the Edomites, the so-called devil and the deceiver and Satan. See, they are the rebellious nation that the Lord sent against the Israelites. And he ain't uh, kicked no angels out of heaven from sleeping with some women. That's all a bunch of lies, man. And we ain't battling against no angels or no rebellious angels or no evil spirits. We ain't battling none of that because he ain't going to send no evil spirits on obedient children. See, he not sending no evil spirits on somebody that's not rebellious. What he say, if you happy is the man that keep the law, he a great, it's a great peace is those that keep the law. So you ain't finna be worried about no freaking angel or uh, rebellious angels. That's some crap that these Edomites came up with with their Christian church and they had us in there with our grandmamas and mamas uh, learning that crap and everybody in the world running their mouth talking about the devil made me do it and the devil is busy and that's a lie. God is busy on your behind because you being wicked and disobedient. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? By Shem Kakadash. Double honor to the elders, pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.